is so good to see you, buddy. Uh, you look fantastic. It is your, Thank it's, you much. It's your, it's your first time here in person. Yeah, yeah, well, no, which is a huge relief, because last time we did this when I was in my living room and I got torrents of abuse from the public for my cushions. Yeah, your couch cushions, they didn't enjoy They were not up to scratch. Everyone was shocked that I was not actually British royalty. And it's like, no, this is what <laughs> poor LA actors look like. We're dirty, we're broke, that couch has ramen on it. That's how that works. <laughs> That's the way it works, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, I know you were just at Comic-Con. Mm. Uh, this is your first time at Comic-Con. Yep, yep, Nerd Mecca. It was amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely incredible. It really is. And, oh. But you were in Hall H. Yes, for which the is... the first time anyone has been there in, in three years. Yeah, it was the first Comic Hall H in three years. Everyone was super hyped, and we were going to Hall H with Dungeons & Dragons, which is pretty much the heart of all things Comic-Con and Nerd. And Congratulations. So... Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> by the way, so you play that trailer. Uh -huh. By the way, it's, it has over, like, 16 million hits, so congratulations Thank on that. Thank you very much. But it, the Dungeons & Dragons trailer, you premiere it, Hall H, and what do you see and what do they do? You don't see a damn thing because you black out. This thing's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> like, I, I tried to ask, like, um, Chris Evans and Anna Damas because they've done this before. I was like, hey, I'm going to Hall H. You got any survival tips? And they were like, oh, my God, Hall H? Oh! No, man, that's... And I was like, yeah, thank you, survival tips. They're like, man, that's a lot. You're going to get overwhelmed. I got nothing from these people. I got <laughs> yeah, nothing. They told you nothing. And so they play it and then everyone loved it. That's yeah, gotta no. feel, that's got to feel good. It felt great. It was the hugest relief. Because, like, the, the unofficial tagline of Dungeons & Dragons is, Dungeons & Dragons, no, no, wait, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is really good, yeah. No, and, like, this is it. We walked in, and it's like bringing this movie to meet mom and dad, because this is the judge and jury of Dungeons & Dragons. And they all went, oh, my God, it doesn't suck! And we were like, yes! <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we, uh, congratulations. There's a lot thank of you. pressure. No, it doesn't. It's great. <laughs> but... It's not your first turn in a, in a fantasy movie. Uh, of course, yeah, I, I, let, me, let me jog your memory. Of course, we all remember you uh, from Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were... Uh, <laughs> there, there, there's a thing online, they said, oh my gosh, uh, Reggae Jean Page is a background actor mm -hmm. in Harry Potter... Is it seven, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, you know what? You tell a lot of Let's just show a just, clip, because yeah. we have one. Here we go. That's the scene. <laughs> Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, no, hugely. I mean, the best thing about like background acting, particularly on big movies like that, and I recommend it to every actor out there, is essentially no one pays attention to you in background. So you get to be the best actor spy. I was just watching like how these directors work with these actors, where Emma Watson hides her phones between takes. Like it was just, <laughs> yeah. and this is the valuable stuff. It was under the tablecloths in the wedding, by the way. Oh, that's um, where they do it. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we talk about the Gray Man? Yeah, all uh, day long. Congrats. So this is an action movie, and it is action-packed. It is fantastic. It's a lot of action. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, and this is the Russo brothers, who are known for mm -hmm. their huge Marvel films. I mean, just a couple of little indie films. Well. Yeah, <laughs> the, the biggest movies in the world. Pretty much yeah, of all time, yeah. yeah. How did you connect with those guys? How did they hook up with um, you? I mean, there's different versions of this story. So, like, there's a version that Joe tells where his wife watched Bridgerton. There's a version where he watched it with his wife. There's a version where Anthony says he was, like, at picking up his kids and all the moms were talking about me and then he was like, I need to know who this dude is. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the common thread is essentially some powerful men had the women in their lives talk to them and we all know who run the world at this point. Yeah, 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 we know who runs the world. Exactly, that's correct. I think we do. Yeah. Uh, so you get to work with these guys and you go, this is, I mean, the whole film is a giant, giant, fun film. Ryan Gosling, uh, you got uh, Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. uh, incredible and hilarious. Uh, he is a great, he's a great guy. He's just a Gosling's fun. Gosling's got the most wonderful, wry, absurdist humor. And I think that um, Evans is very kind of begrudgingly grateful because I think the, the trash dash thing, that's a Gosling original. He was just like throwing out disses to Evans between takes. It was just like, it looks like a trash dash. Like, you hit like a Lloyd. Like, it was just like <laughs> just just Gosling lines. Back and forth, yeah, it started yeah. with Gosling. There's a ton of those on the, on the cutting room floor. Uh, who do you, uh, can you tell everyone who you play? Um, I play a man called Denny Carmichael. He is the deliciously devious head of the CIA. Um, I mean, here's the cliff notes. Essentially, I'm Ryan and Chris's boss. I tell them to go out across the world and punch each other in the face, and they do. That's there you go. That's a great way to sum up the film. <laughs> I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Reggae Jean Page in The Gray Man. Take a look at this. Six. One explain whatever that was. Gun jammed. That doesn't qualify as an explanation. Maybe on a secure line. I need a status support. Insecure line. Did the target say anything to you? Well, he was dead, so... You know, you know. What about pocket litter? 
Did you get anything off his body? Six. Did he have anything on his person? That you now have. That you like to give to me. Who was he? A bad guy. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Watch out! Ricky John Page! The great man is streaming right now on Netflix. Hey, hey.